woke up this morning and after I looked in my email alerts for job postings because I'm still trying to find work, um, then I go on to Facebook, which is my normal routine, and somebody had posted that 92.3, a local radio station, were giving away tickets to the Jackson Unity Tour, and so, you know, at 8.30, I was in, in place to make the call, and I actually got through three different times, but unfortunately, I was not the 92nd caller, so then... Um, then, you know, I had found a few jobs, a few new jobs that I can apply for, which I did. I'm applying for the third position. I get a phone call from my sister-in-law, and she said that, calling to tell me that she got me a ticket to see the Jacksons, which was so cool. I'm so appreciative of that. And, you know, it's interesting how I always say the universe conspires to make your desires happen. Things just haven't fallen into place for the perfect right work situation for me. Because I know that's what the universe is waiting for, to move things out of the way or move people out of the way so I can just move into the right perfect job. I met a friend who I've only met once before in real life, but have known him, um, I've known him for years now on the internet. And, um, I met him today for lunch. I, I really did have a good time with you, Paul. So thank you for lunch and thank you for the great conversation. Um, but one of the things he brought up was, how does it feel to believe that Michael Jackson is alive when like he said 95% of the rest of the world <laughs> believes he's dead, but as my daughter pointed out, um, it's probably more like 99.8% of the rest of she, she said, Mom, only 3% of the world are redheads, and look how many redheads there are. She said, I, I think that the percent of believers are probably less than 1% in the world. Um, how does it feel, he said. He said, it must be like explaining believing in God to an atheist. And, you know, in a lot of ways, that is right on because there is really no proof, no concrete evidence that God exists. So how do you prove that God exists to an atheist? It's a feeling, and it's a feeling that makes you feel good. And believing that Michael Jackson is still out there somewhere is a feeling that makes me feel good. And I've said this over and over and over again. The bottom line is, I don't believe that Michael Jackson was so careless and that stupid to have died in the situation that was presented to us. I just can't see Michael Jackson having died that way. I, I just don't see that he was that negligent. I'm, I'm sorry, I just don't, you know. Um, I give them a lot more credit than that. Tomorrow being the 4th of July, you know, people are always saying what's wrong with the USA. I mean, uh, there are, there's so much wrong with the USA. And, you know, of course, we don't always get it right. That's a fact. That's obvious. The thing is, the United States is a place where all these different cultures and um, people from different countries and all these different religions pretty much do integrate. I mean, when you think about your neighborhood or the neighboring neighborhoods, there's a lot of integration going on. And yeah, it's not perfect yet. And yeah, the incidents happen where certain people are still targeted but on the whole when you think of the majority of the people I would say we are still um, you know the mixed salad that we were meant to be you know sometimes there's rotten tomatoes in your salad Sometimes there's those little white maggots in your salad that kind of ruins it for the salad. But on the whole, 
most of those veggies are pretty decent and good. All people focus on is the rotten tomato or the maggot rather than the delicious radishes or celery or cucumbers or kale or whatever else is in the salad. Happy Fourth of July and may Michael Jackson find his independence.